how much is the feel-good factor from Sunday's just sort of fed into everything you've done in training this week? Uh, yeah, I think for the past like few weeks we've kind of got a, a structure about how we play, um, and obviously it helped us a lot on on the weekend um, with a very good performance. I also think against Plymouth we had a, a good performance as well. Um, just probably didn't counter as much as we'd have hoped to, like we did against uh, Sheffield Wednesday. But yeah, training's been really good this week, positive um, around the place, and um, everybody's just ready to go again um, to see if we can get another result. And as you said, it was sort of coming, but what do you feel changed so that the performance actually delivered a result this time? Um, I don't know, well, since the gaffers came in, he's worked on kind of the same thing over and over again, trying to drill it into the boys. Um, it's came alive over the past few weeks. I, I don't know what was different. Um, I feel like they, they kind of sat off us a bit, gave us a bit more space than what we'd have thought. Um, and we are good players. Like People might say other things about us, obviously being at the bottom of the league, but um, the team's full of good players. And when you get a bit of confidence about your play, you can you can cause issues. And I think we should have had more than one goal. So. And you mentioned the work rate as well. How fit do you need to be to play on the counter attack like that? I mean, is is it something that Big Dunk's done and actually got you fitter since he came in? Yeah, to to be fair, we probably train minimum four or five times a week. Sometimes no days off. Uh, we do a lot of running. Um, he's just he's just brought a, a kind of different way of playing into the club. Um, everybody's working very hard day by day. Um, and you can see it in the games and the performances. I think everybody looks a lot fitter. And on the counter as well, if you're still being able to counter 75th, 80th minute, then he's obviously doing something right with us. And presumably it's more hard work <laughs> right on the pitch, uh, which is how you build on it now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, it just keeps pushing us. Like It, it doesn't stop. Some days you'd you'd come in maybe after two days off if, if you've got a win like we did at the weekend. You'd think, oh, he might be easy on us. Now nah, you're straight back into the hard work, straight back into running. So, yeah, it was... Um, it's been every day is tough, and do you know what? It's, most of the boys are actually starting to enjoy it because you get your benefits out of it. And I suppose you know that's perfectly logical as well because Portsmouth doesn't look any easier this Saturday, does it? Nah, it doesn't. And obviously we've we've played against them before, and we we know what they've got, but we're just going to go and do the same thing again, and hopefully it ends in the same result. It's one of the big trips in League One. You know, their ground will be pretty packed, but I guess from their perspective, they'll be desperate to get back into the playoff places. Does that put the pressure on them? Uh, I think it does. I don't think there's much pressure on us at all now. Um, we've just got to go and play our game, whereas the, the teams that are in playoffs or pushing for playoffs, they've got a lot to think about going into games, whereas we're just going and doing what we do. Um, and then if, if we get a result out of it, then good. Um, so I think for them, the pressure's definitely on. And you mentioned sort of Forest Green will just do what you do. I mean, the gaffer doesn't look at the tables. Do the players, how, how do you view the situation? Um, I think at like, the start of the season and stuff, when everybody's like new to the league or you're you get a win straight away and you see yourself in the top six or something, you might be looking at the league table, but now you don't really look at it. We just we go out to get a result in every game. Um, I think if it came to the point where you're getting really close to a team in front of you or you've got a big game coming up, of course you hear people talking about, oh, if you win this game, you go a certain amount of points ahead, but I don't look at league tables because um, I think every game's the same. I go out to, to perform in every game and try and win every game. And I guess that gives you a bit of freedom, does it? Yeah, it does. It does. Um, if you if you think about the league table too much, you end up putting pressure on yourself, um, and it gets in your head. Whereas if you just think, "Oh, I'm just going to go out and do my best," then you end up playing better. No recognised striker in the team on Saturday, and yet you still had plenty of attacking chances. How does that work as a system? And I guess it's just more hard work and more running, isn't it? Yeah, I think um, it's a lot to do with the energy of certain players. Whereas, like, if you don't have a striker, then you need to have players that are willing to run the full game and non-stop. And we've got, luckily, we've got two players that do a lot of running. They were playing up there as in Miles and Charlie. And then your wingers come into the game a lot because you need to then stretch the play because they're midfielders naturally, so they're going to come short. So we're always having to go in behind. So it's just having well and runners up top, to be honest with you. Um, 
having a solid midfield that just know where to put the ball. And when you're playing on the counter, you know when your midfielders get it, where it's going. It's going behind. So my job is just to, to try and get there every time and get the boys up the pitch.